This is Irma 3D, an intelligent robot for mapping applications. Equipped with a laser scanner, it sends out a pulse of laser light and measures the time until a reflection reaches the sensor. This allows extremely accurate measurements. With a rotating mirror and laser head, millions of three-dimensional points can be captured. The objective is to turn these points into detailed three-dimensional environments of whole buildings and more. When trying to find an optimal set of scan positions, we have to solve the famous art gallery problem. Given a polygon P, place a minimum number of stationary lights such that the entire region is illuminated. A famous result shows that for a simple polygon with n vertices, n over 3 guards are sometimes necessary and always sufficient. For polygons with holes, similar results exist. In general, however, the required number of guards may be a lot smaller. Computing the smallest number of guards is an NP-hard challenge, even when trying to find a good approximation. How can we tackle this challenge? Like many other optimization problems, we can model a minimal solution as an integer program. However, this involves an infinite number of variables, describing possible guards, and constraints, describing points that need to be covered. We can simplify the problem by only considering a finite number of witnesses positions that need to be guarded. We can also limit ourselves to a finite number of guard positions. Doing this yields a finite set cover problem, which can be solved to optimality with the help of a powerful IP solver, such as CPLEX. In the following, we describe an approach based on integer programming. For a finite set of reference points, we subdivide the polygon. Each point has a visibility region, shown in yellow, and a shadow region, shown in grey. In the overlay of visibility regions, a light cell, shown in blue, has locally maximal containment, while a shadow cell has locally minimal containment. When the reference points are witnesses, it suffices to consider guards at corners of the light cells. When the points are possible guard positions, it suffices to pick a witness in each shadow cell. We now show an example for our algorithm. Consider this polygon, to which we add a witness set, whose arrangement contains three light cells, shown in blue. The corresponding set cover problem has a set of guard candidates that are vertices of the polygon and of the light cells of the witness sets. The resulting guard set, 2 in this example, is a lower bound for the optimum, but may not be a feasible solution for the original problem. Conversely, we can consider the current guard set and the overlay of its visibility regions. From each of the shadow cells, we can pick one additional witness point, which we add to the witness set. The new set cover instance has a solution of cardinality 3 and is always feasible for the original problem. In the example, the upper bound of 3 is larger than the current lower bound of 2, so we try again to raise the latter.
the witness set is enhanced by points within the currently uncovered regions. Then the guard set is enhanced with the vertices of the new light cells and we get a new set cover instance. The solution to this instance yields a lower bound of 3 and we can stop with this optimal feasible solution. This iterative approach can be used to compute optimal solutions for polygons with up to thousands of vertices. Shown is a large polygon with holes. Alternatively, we can use an approach that is based on linear programming. Consider a set of witnesses, such that no two can be seen from the same guard. Its cardinality is a natural lower bound on the size of a guard set. Thus, we have a packing problem, find a large independent witness set. This is the dual problem of finding a small guard cover. If we allow non-integral variable values, it follows from LP duality that primal cover and dual packing value are the same. However, the resulting optimum may be fractional. A circulant subproblem has k vertices. Each covers a different subset of k-1 green elements. This requires at least two integer vertices to cover all elements. Here is an optimal integral solution. If there is some set that covers all elements, there may be a better solution. This results in a more general constraint. In the geometric setting of the art gallery problem, we can construct a corresponding situation. Making use of geometry, we can show that circulant solutions with k greater than 3 have no practical significance. Here is our initial example again and its fractional optimal solution. Note how it has two subproblems that correspond to the described families. This allows us to apply the two classes of additional constraints. This results in a new optimal solution, which is integral. So it solves the art gallery problem. Let's apply this to Irma's problem. We show the primal and dual problems side by side. First, we try to find a feasible optimal solution for the primal problem. Colors indicate coverage by fractional guards. We enhance the dual witness set along the way. Then we proceed to work on the dual problem, enhancing possible guard positions. Now we apply additional constraints, indicated in red. We have found an optimal solution with 15 scan positions for IRMA. With globally consistent scan matching, the resulting point clouds are combined into a detailed virtual environment. One of the scan positions turns out to be right next to a well-known landmark of Bremen. The statue with a donkey, a dog, a cat and a rooster depicts the town musicians of Bremen from a well-known fairy tale. If we register a thermal camera with the point cloud, we can even obtain a detailed three-dimensional energy map. This allows to pinpoint energy leaks and improve residential energy awareness. Cool, Irma.